Hey everyone, today we're gonna see how easy it is to just convert your uh, video files using VLC to play them on your iPod. I've seen uh, quite a few tutorial videos on YouTube trying to utilize online sites and unnecessary tools that you would have to download for this uh, purpose only and uh, I've found I think the best solution here to utilize your own computer without downloading any kind of software or uploading any video to a website and download them again this will be happening 100% on your own computer let's go I have already hooked up VLC here hit the media up here in the left top corner and you choose convert save you will have this open media window coming up here you have the file selection where you would have to add all your media files so so I'm gonna add two of the same files it's an mp4 file I'm using here and you click on convert save here or choose the convert option from the drop down menu yeah when you want to choose multiple files you will not be able to choose a destination that's why we have this little option here append converted to file name and uh, this helps when you want to keep your original file either way if you don't uh, click this on then it will just simply override the file that you are trying to convert and now comes the profile we're going to use. Now you click on this little wrench icon you get another nice little window. Let's stick with mp4 I think it's the uh, standard selection here. Oh I almost forgot you have multiple profiles here. You can also convert a video uh, to an mp3 file. There's a pre-configured video for iPod SD or HD profile right somewhere in in the end of this list. Uh, we're gonna be modifying the video for iPod SD and uh, let's go edit our profile in the encapsulation we are keeping mp4 we are going forward to video codec video is checked and encoding parameters codec is mpeg4 bitrate 60 kilobytes uh, was fine it's not a not a huge screen to play videos on you will get most of your quality back from 60 kilobytes and of course it will not be taking so much space frame rate is same as source resolution you will leave it as is scale is auto filter nothing audio codec this is where it gets tricky because if you don't check keep original audio track as I have experienced you will get only just problems MPEG audio didn't work for me mp3 also didn't MPEG4 audio was working but sometimes I got really weird popping noises my solution here is to keep original audio track and you click on save note that by clicking on save you will get this pre-made profile completely modified so if you don't want to change anything in the pre-made profiles then you just make a new profile with this uh, button here destination file we will name our file save and we start encoding after just a few seconds our file is ready to be transferred to the iPod using iTunes after you have started up uh, iTunes on the computer make sure you connect your iPod to the PC go ahead and find your file and you will see some drop down menu here at your iPod you will have to click on films and it's just a simple drag and drop action the iPod will sync and if you have any kind of movies or series that you would like to add some uh, information on you can do it by clicking with the right mouse button on your file and choose video info you click on OK after you have finished 
modifying your file you simply eject the iPod it will sync for a minute thanks for watching I hope it helped you this way you will not have to upload anything download anything you can just do your conversion offline on your computer